60 grains of fuck your face. Lubed up, lubed up. Hi everybody, Vermont Survivalist here. So I was making one video and then it turned out to be a whole nother video. So I decided to do the video, other video that I was making, beginning all over again. Chain fire. I mean, you hear it all the time. On the internet, man, I've been getting, I've been getting nothing but straight harassment from these these people that think they know more than me about this about the subject and look if you do know more about a subject and especially a subject that I know a lot about and if you teach me something I am humbled believe me okay I'll fuck with you a little bit you can ask Bill on that but I am humbled I, I will I will I will you know I'll give you credit when credit's due but there's some subjects that, you know, I may know more than what people think I know. And uh, yeah, and the chain fire subject, I do know. And I think I'll be the first one on YouTube to do this challenge, not, not challenge, but do this science experiment from the black powder revolver. Um, so this is what I'm gonna do. I got all these fuckers loaded. Bill is my witness. Saw me load him. Um, yeah, come on over here. And here's a piece of the video that I was going to do. It was, just, it was purely a video on this. 1860 Henry. But this is the loading bit of that video. So. And by the way, before anybody asks, before anybody sits there and says anything, um, I shoot at my own risk and uh, half cock always when you're reloading these um, I shoot at my own risk and uh, I, I know some some guys are you know oh dude you're doing this you're doing this you're doing this you're doing this um, last famous words I've been shooting these things for years and after a while, you just don't need certain things. Um, after it comes to that point, you know where the powder needs to be. You know where the ball's gonna set in, you know? Like I know I'm roll loading 30, between 30 and 30, 35 grains of powder in each of these. And I wish I, wish I could show you them right now probably can but I don't know I don't know if I'll be able to spit but see I mean I don't know if you guys to see that but yeah so it's uh when you know you know man you do it so many times that you just you know you just don't think about it you know you just do it and I think that's what that's what makes a lot of black powder people, you know, awesome black powder people. Because they just fucking do it. I mean. And then you make these videos and they have all these, you know, these, these safety ninjas trying to point shit out. It's like, dude. Shut up. Let's load up six round balls. You're gonna see what I mean about the fucking ring there. Load these up. 
You know, some people like to sprue up. Uh, sorry, the sprue down. I like to sprue up. I guess it really doesn't matter. It just gives the fucking thing something to, something to grip on, you know, push on it. So I'm not, like, deforming the round ball, even though it doesn't really fucking matter. But... Let's see what I mean about this ring. Nothing's getting in there. I, 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 seriously. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, some of these guys, they go off and like, oh, you need lube. You know, you need lube. You need lube. You know, some sort of situations you do need lube. You know? I think of a few situations myself that I'm going to need lube. But this situation, I don't need fucking lube. You know? There's other situations that, yeah, you legitly need lube. So I go sprue up again. We're gonna sprue up it. You know what? I'm gonna do a test on this. I wanna I wanna prove my point. I'm actually gonna spray some black powder in there and I'm gonna set the fucking shit on fire to show you guys that hey look, chain fires only happen. <sighs> chain fires only happen. Fucking on the rear because everybody seems to think that it's all open in there you know what i mean it's not the minute you get that ring man you're fucking golden i'm sorry guys that you're not really seeing this Chain fire. Every time I do this, man, that's what I'm thinking. Oh. I think that was a little bit larger than a goddamn fucking 44. I think that was a 45. Okay. So there we go. Now we got all our round balls in there. Okay, why don't we put some powder in that cylinder? Let's see if we can chain fire it. There you go. All right, so anyways, I get my head beaten um, by a few, a few people talking about chain fires, talking about how I need to use lube. Inside the cylinder to prevent chain fire. I say no. I, there's a few other guys that say no. There's a few other guys that, that, that agree with me on, on, on the whole subject. No, I don't use that shit either. You know, it's optional, right? So, but they talk about safety. They bring the safety thing, chain fire, da 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 da. And I think it's being over safe putting the loom on the cylinder. So, and I've always said that. I've always said that. It's messy. It's fucked up. It, yeah. No, I just don't do it. Um, I think the reason why guys put lubed lube inside the cylinder, and, and this is what I this is what I hold in, is guys were using balls uh, too small for the cylinder themselves. So they kept the ball, they put the ball in there, and then they put the lube on top of the on top of the on top of it to keep it from going anywhere. So then they would have a ball in there. So I mean, you know, because if the ball's too small for the cylinder, they bring it down and things gonna fall out. You know what I mean? So that's why I think I, I think that lube was there um on that though i don't see the point in having lube in there and uh yeah yeah so i got these eyeballed at 35 grains roughly eyeballed yeah i mean when you're good you're good right right and i mean you do this long enough you realize it it says that so anyways
Let's get on with the experiment. Fuck this shit, right? What? What? They can only see, like, your arm. <laughs> well, that was a cool entrance. Alright. It's Easter and he's giving me bunny ears. It's kind of funny. Um, so, anyways. It's a science experiment. Okay, so I have the 1860 Henry. It's loaded, as you saw. It's all loaded up. All right. Let's see if we can train fire it. Yeah, all right. I don't want nobody thinking that they can do this at home and shit like that, but I'm just trying to prove a point for scientific fucking reasons, all right? That you can't chain fire this, okay? Chain fires happen on the bottom, doesn't happen on the top. And I'm gonna prove it, okay? So, here we go. Okay, so, let's put some powder on that. On the cylinder, you guys see it. All this in the name of science. Guys, to see this, look at that. Okay, all of these There's a reason why I'm not doing it on tables. That means I'm trying not to get the powder to go underneath the cylinder here. Okay. But as you see, all of them are filled with powder. There is no access to it. So now the chain fire, supposed chain fire, which I don't think will ever happen. No chain fire. I rest my fucking case. When it comes to this stuff, okay, experience is everything. Okay, you just, you can't just watch a video and then think, well, you know, I know everything there is to know about black powder. Because one guy regurgitates what another guy regurgitates what another guy regurgitates. And I don't know. That's not how I am. I have to go out and I have to experience it. And my experience over thousands upon thousands of rounds of shooting black powder straight up told me by experience that a chain fire just wouldn't happen. I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. You know what I mean? Here it is. Proof's in the pudding. There you go. If you have that ring, you don't have to worry about chain fire. At all. Not one iota. Not one bit. Not one smidgen. Do you, do you wish to add something on this, Bill? Chain fires are through negligence that you didn't load right. <sighs> Bitches. Vermont Survivalist, as always. <laughs> the brother told you so. Good to go.